Hi and welcome to a new episode on my channel. Today I'm going to talk about part 2 of the modifications on my Choiceway Rocket 26 brushless deep V-ray boat. I'm just going to go through the modifications and show you what I did and how I did and why I did it. First let's have a look at the outside of the hull. First part is the air in and outtake from the self writing system. This boat has a self writing system which can take in water here. So if you're upside down, it fills this tank up with water and you can spin the boat back around just with pulling throttle. And this helps to circulate water and air through the tank. This part was originally one pretty nasty and bad construction and it also had an extremely heavy steel nut on it so I ordered a new one from AliExpress which is completely aluminum also the nut and it is with a seal ring so there's also better sealing uh, against incoming water and I changed the shape of it and I polished it so it's a thin shape now and it looks a bit nicer than the stock part and I was also able to save some weight. Almost the same thing I did for the water outlet. The part I ordered from AliExpress had one big problem. The inner diameter of the part was thinner than the inner diameter of the original part. So the original part has 3mm in the diameter and the AliExpress part 2mm. So I wasn't able to put the same amount of water through the cooling system. So I decided to modify the stock part just to make it look nice and it fits better. So as you can see it's also thin shape now. Also surface polished and it looks even nicer. And there were also a heavy steel nut on it. I also changed this nut to aluminum nut which makes the part uh, way lighter and it, yeah, as already said, looks way better. The second modification on the outside is the thrust ball bearing. I ordered also from AliExpress. This one helps to reduce friction between the dog drive and the ball bearing. This is the reason why I changed this. The original solution is a simple plastic o-ring which causes friction between the dog drive and the bearing and this thrust bearing helps to reduce the friction to a minimum. I do not grease it just because of keeping the water clean and the thing works hopefully great, we will see. Then I also changed the dog drive itself. The original part was a brass part which was also way heavier than the part I ordered also from AliExpress uh, which is completely aluminum. So I was also able to save some weight with the new dog drive. Then let's have a look at the canopy. I tried everything on this boat to reduce weight. So what I decided to do on the canopy is to cut out the inner part of the canopy plastic and like this I was able to remove almost 30 grams of plastic so the whole boat with all the modifications will be around 70 to 80 grams lighter than stock. I think this is a pretty big deal for a boat which is I don't know around 900 grams without battery. This is one modification about saving weight or the biggest modification to save weight. Then let's have a look at the inside of the hull. Just an optical modification I did is I changed the clear tubes to white tubes just to make the whole boat look a little bit cleaner. Then we have uh, changed ESC and the motor. The ESC is from Flycolor, it's a 50 amp ESC which can run with 2S up to 6S and the motor is from Racer Star, the BR2835 which runs from 3S to 4S. I already did a dry test run and the settings of the ESC work perfectly. The, you can use the default settings. The only thing I changed on the ESC is default is only forward and you can change to forward and U version. This is what I did on the ESC. 
Then let's have a look at the coupler for the flex drive shaft. I changed the coupler. The reason was that the original coupler caused pretty massive vibrations and I tried to reduce the vibrations with coupler which has less outer diameter and I also balanced it so at the opposite side of the screws I reduced weight to balance it as good as possible but there are still some vibrations they are less than with the stock coupler but they are still there and what I decided is to change also this one I already ordered it I will do a review with the new coupler as soon as it's there we will see if I can eliminate the vibrations I like this system of coupler because they are optimal for flex drive shafts but the most important thing for me is performance and if I can optimize performance because of uh, reducing or eliminate vibrations I'm gonna go this way. The new coupler will also be aluminum not steel so also another part which I'm able to reduce some weight. So this is already all about part two of my modifications on the Choiceway rocket. I hope you liked the video. Have a good time. Happy flying. Happy driving. Bye bye.